More corruption for you, this time having to do with a lawsuit over mining safety regulations. And a person named David Zatelzalo, this is President Trump's top official for mining safety, who has a history in that particular industry that we're gonna talk about. It has to do with challenges to Obama administration regulations, trying to make it so that if mines routinely violated safety procedures, there could be an expedited process of adjudicating that having some sort of fines or consequences of some sort, which of course the industries don't like and so they challenged it in court. So that lawsuit was filed in March 2013 by the Kentucky Coal Association, opposing the Obama administration's use of a mine safety rule known as POV or pattern of violations. As I said, accelerates the penalty process. So David Zatelzalo, the person that I was talking about, is now the Assistant Secretary of Mine Health and Safety. He served on the Kentucky Coal Association Board of Directors through 2014. Through late 2014, Zatalzalo was also a chairman of Rhino Resource Partners, kind of a cool name, and a mining, a mining company which twice ran afoul of POV during his tenure there. So it's really an interesting situation they've set up where he was on the board of directors for that coal association, involved with a company that was violating these particular provisions. A Couple of years go by, he gets to be in charge effectively of mine safety and right now is considering whether he is going to be the person to rule on a lawsuit that at least to some extent, he was the one who pushed for in the first place. So this is why I love TYT Investigates and thank you to all the viewers who, who helped fund it. Because while everybody's looking somewhere else and super important issues like guns, etc. Um, Donald Trump's administration is eviscerating the rule of law, uh, doing wild conflicts of interest and and, and corruption uh, to no end. So our job is to, to dig in and find where they are. So um, in this case, great report by Steve Horn pointing out, look, this guy was part of that uh, organization, the Kentucky Coal Association, that sued the, the group that he now helps to run mm -hmm. inside the government. Now that's not new in terms of Scott Pruitt, same thing, head of the EPA, mm -hmm. sued the EPA over a dozen times. And, and Trump's like, oh, you wanna destroy the EPA? Wonderful, that's exactly who I'm looking for. You're now the head of the EPA. So this guy now becomes a top official in mining safety because he was trying to destroy mining safety. So okay, that part we understand, although almost no one else is talking about it. And so we find the lawsuit and then of course, as John pointed out, there's two different organizations that he was on the board of that now are in front of the government agency that he is running. And in the beginning, they said, "Oh, conflicts of interest." No, 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 absolutely not. Uh, number one, he'll uh, get his money out of any mining uh, within 90 days. Did he? Of course not. Mm -hmm. He works for the Trump administration. Still has money invested in mining companies. Yeah, but only like hundreds of thousands of dollars. While he's supposed to be regulating mining companies mm -hmm. that he's invested in. Now, the companies he used to run, he's decided, I'm not going to recuse myself. I'm gonna make the decision on whether my former companies did the right thing or not. Gee, I wonder which way he's gonna decide. Well, who, I can't quite tell. Who would better know what the companies were up to? Than the guys sitting on their board Insider before. Insider knowledge, yeah. And when asked about it, the Trump administration, and we're the ones who asked them, said, well, I mean, our rule technically is that you had to be outside those companies for two years, and he was on the board of those companies in 2014. Technically, he's slightly okay, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he has no conflict of interest. He'll have be a, mm -hmm. have a. You can't find anyone else to make that ruling. No, the point is corruption. It's not the bug; it's the feature. So yeah. check out the the article. It'll be in the links down below and on YouTube, in the description box, uh, and on comment section on Facebook. Uh, so our job is to comment on these stories. TYT Investigates job is to find the stories and cover them objectively. Read the story for yourself. It yeah. is a terrible case of conflict of interest again within the Trump White House. If you want to get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one. It'll be great, trust me. TYTnetwork.com slash join.